I am ready to roast my marshmallows. Yeah, hello everyone, and welcome back to the walkthrough. So, we got ourselves a flaming phantom, but is it enough? That is the question. I would say it is not. Oh yeah, I didn't read this, did I? Yet? So basically, only those without special powers know the secret, and I found the secret in the last part here. Uh, but I'll just give you a little rundown here. Weak spot in the wall to the upper left. So what we gotta do is get our bombs out and go to that upper left area. Preferably without any sort of dangerous phantom trailing us. That would be lovely. <laughs> just to kind of make things a little easier on us. And the weak spot is like somewhere around here, I think it was. Oh, no, that's not where it was. No, no, that's not where it was either. Uh, yeah, you, you can feel for it with your sword, but I thought that would just be quicker. So it actually is in the way, 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 way corner there. Alright, so what do we need down this corridor now that we're over here? Well, let's find out, shall we? So we go down, well, go up this way. I'm not leaving without you, don't worry. And we cannot doodle on our maps, even though we, that we would never need to doodle on our maps on these particular corridors anyway, because there's absolutely nothing to mark out. Come on, come on, come on. There we go, alright. Another puzzle room! <laughs> Beware! Um, I'm gonna get this out, get on top of Zelda again, and head on over up here to get something set up. Behold! Yeah, we just set up a phantom eye as well as a couple of warp phantoms. Well, two phantom eyes and one warp phantom. Okay, it was it was a couple of eyes. That yeah, if we want to be super grammar Nazi timed. <laughs> uh, okay, so I'm gonna blast this open here really quick. And oh, I didn't want a let. But you can just actually sit sit over there. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> I didn't mean to make you pick that up, but that'll do. All right, ancient gold piece. We're gonna have to come back here with another phantom. But the thing about it is, I wanted to set that up just as long as I was down this area. So yeah, we're gonna have to come back with a warp phantom to actually clear this place out, or at least clear that other half out properly-ish type place. So just, just get that set up for now, just as long as you're in the area. We're gonna go back to another area that we were to before that had uh, another door in the corner. To be able to get ours, I know I'm su being super descriptive here, but you'll see uh, when we get back over there. I assure you. Uh, no, no, not not there, not there. Uh, yeah, we're gonna have to go back this way. <laughs> okay, back this way. So, so is this timed right? <laughs> That's, that's what I was looking at over there, is before I do anything rash over here. Okay, which direction are you going here? Uh, if you're gonna go... Mm -hmm. Okay, you're gonna go straight this time. So, anyway, our objective is to get over in this corner here. Corner area there, so, yeah. Let's go ahead and get our... Whoa, wait, wait, are you turning back? Uh... Uh... Okay, you're not. <laughs> You're going around that way, okay. So we're gonna leave the phantom eyes. You obviously do not want them to alert any phantoms of your presence. So that's why I, I wasn't able to go around that way this time. It's just like a little extra difficulty bit that they added to it. <laughs> Alrighty, back over here. Now we would like to get that warp phantom at the other corner. You know, this one over here. But we're, just, we're still not gonna go through this door over there. Uh, by the way, you can also kill a ghost if, you, if they'll make things a little bit easier for you, but, but I don't believe you get a prize for killing them off, so... Oh, whoops, that's not the hallway. That is not the hallway. This is the hallway. <laughs> okay, so he's zigzag around. We gotta do our distraction method to get him out of the corner, because he's super diligent. So, I'm, I'm not really too worried about Zelda here. Okay, there we go. If Zelda wants to follow, she can follow. All I'm in concern is getting its back turned. There we go. And now we switch phantoms. I told you this place is really elaborate. Because you still because you need the f uh, flame phantoms at the other area, but you still need to come back for this particular phantom for another area. I know, it's crazy, right? 
<laughs> so now I'll see you back over to that bombable wall that we exploded. And also, yes, when you switch phantoms, the other phantom comes back into existence, making things even more dicey to get around. <laughs> Actually, I'm going to start my cut over here, because I'm going to try and rush this. I don't know if it's going to be possible to rush this, but let's see if I can get to that corner, just for the sake of, like, speedrunning tactics. Without any no, I can't, because that phantom. I was going to say, let's see if we can get to that corner where that blastable wall was. But no, no, alas, alas. It'll take too long for Zelda to pop over here. There we go. Okay, so I guess we're gonna have to do some waiting sometimes there. If we need to come back through there again. And, okay, I'm gonna hit those every time I come through here just to resupply stuff. So we got a Warp Phantom here because we need to be able to do something with the Phantom Eyes that we unlocked just a bit ago. And that Phantom Eye is the one that's going around those... See, this area right here, it's going around in a certain pattern, and it's actually crisscrossing over these symboled floors. And you know, when we have these symboled floors, it means that there is a way that we can swap Zelda with something else. So in this case, we're gonna, we're gonna wait for that Phantom Eye to go around here. We're gonna release it as soon as it locks on over here, and then... Zelda's gonna kill it off, or it's not, and we're gonna automatically switch, and I'll have to kill it off really quick, otherwise the other phantom's gonna come here. Yeah, yeah, there we go, okay. So, we're gonna do that, and then we're gonna get Zelda over here, using the powers of the, uh, uh, respawn technique, I guess you could say. It, even though it's not really a technique, it's just a matter of waiting. So we're gonna wait out over here, wait for it to reappear somewhere. Come on. Come on. No, 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 I'm not there, actually. Over here, that's right. We don't want her to be over there. We want her to warp, uh, because otherwise she'll be trapped on those those platforms there. You know, the, the switching places, places. Okay, there we go. Now we use her to get across those spikes. I'm gonna call her over with this sand. <laughs> I told you this place is super, super mega elaborate. I'm gonna grab that heart really quick. There you go. Just, just why not? So now we gotta jump down and we got another phantom over there. So what do we do about said phantom? Well, we know the technique, right? <laughs> so just gonna kind of, kind of let it go over there. And oh, you're gonna go all over here around the corner, really? Okay. That, that, that's okay with me. Did you just sink? Yeah, you just sunk. Well, that, that's not what I was going for here. Okay, let's, let's try this again here. I want to switch phantoms, basically, just to make this easier on myself, too. Okay, so... Over here. <laughs> just, to kind of, just so I don't get any sort of trappages of sorts and then get warped back over here in some ridiculous fashion. There we go. <laughs> Alrighty. Perfectly safe now. Just playing it to a maximum safeness. So we're gonna shoot that now. And this is going to unlock some dorages over there. Voila. And come on, come on, this away. But wait, but wait, I got her trapped here. Actually, that's not entirely true. <laughs> <laughs> Oops, I want, to, I want to grab that icon there, there we go. And... And I say... Over here. <laughs> over here. Over... Yeah, maybe this was too safe, like maybe I should have just left her over there and just stunned the phantom or something like that, went by, shot the phantom with the arrow. Well, actually, maybe not, I could have been trapped in the corner and then I would have guaranteed taken a hit. So yeah, alright, so we're gonna bring her over here. You can also switch places with her using these panels as well, but... And in, 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 you know, warp her back over to the other platform, but here is a much faster method. Just use the sand rod, get on top of her, and doodle her across, thusly. Yeah, so those triangle things are just like an optional other way to solve that. It, it, it's basically the same thing that we did with the circle, circle ones, but yeah. Anyway, now that we're through this way, we've made it to this room here. And why do we make it to this room? Well, we're, we're gonna get another kind of phantom. And since you're seeing all these sorts of Armos 
hanging around all these parts all day and all night, you can pretty much get an idea of what kind of phantom we're gonna be getting here. So, as you see also, there is a, a sorta of kinda of thing that we need to get on top of a certain Zelda to get to. See that? Yeah. So we're gonna ha actually have to also sand rod ourselves on top of her and then doodle ourselves a path over here. Okay, okay. Just don't get stuck on any corners, please. That would be very embarrassing for you. <laughs> do, 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 do. And we're gonna have to flip this around here a few times. I do believe twice, yes, and we are going to shoot that with a light arrow because it requires a light arrow as you see by that eye, and there we go down, and I might as well take care of you right away. <laughs> um, I think I still need armos for that, but let's just see. Well, actually, no, it doesn't matter if I have... I mean, I think I still need the... Uh, the Wrecker Phantom for that, but I, I'll come back through here with the Wrecker Phantom anyway. Uh, you'll see in just a second here. Uh, actually, you know what? I'll keep that. No, no, no. I'll, I want the boomerang out, actually. Because I need to light a torch to make things a little easier on ourselves. Um, there's the other eye that I set, that I circled ahead of time here. Yes, there are... Whoops. Yes, there are rats around here to cause ire to Zelda. But now we finally got a freaking door open to the other area after all this time, and we've unlocked this door over here after all this time. So now what we're gonna do here is erase that, erase this, and there is, this is like a whole humongous room that goes all the way around like to here and around that way, and then there's an opening there, leads down and around to the door somewhere up, I'm, I've ran out of room, dang it. <laughs> Alright. Uh, oh, I've been seen. I've been seen. That's a wrecker. Yeah, that's the wrecker that I'm looking for. And, uh, yeah, there's also those warp phantoms hanging out around here. I still need to shoot that eye. That's kind of... Oh, yeah, that's right. There's the wall here. Uh, oh, maybe I didn't run out of room here. I just that uh, I misdoodled my room. So we go like that. Goes around that way. So it's actually like something such as that safe zone door over here there we go <laughs> all right uh everyone everyone go back to your post please <laughs> uh i still need that still need that wrecker though so since i got all the doors open now i can now grab pretty much any phantom that i need from this darkness room here which is incredibly, incredibly handy since we don't have to jump from place to place. Alright, so now we can also shoot this. Which gives us a treasure chest! Yay! Remember it said shoot the eyes in the darkness. So, any anytime you see an eye like that, yeah, it's small key. <laughs> Basically, it's an essential thing that you gotta do is when you shoot the eyes. It'll eventually get you to a key. And you know what, I will, I will actually kill you off if you don't mind here. What is this in the- oh, that's just carpet. <laughs> I thought it was like a wall or something like that, but no- oh, I don't have the- yeah, I don't have the- the uh, fire fan- flame phantom anymore, so. Um, now where, where did that other door lead? I think it just connected this room over here. Yeah, it just connected that- uh, this over here. Just connects near something like that. Okay. There, our doodles have finally met. They have made it. Okay, I'm just gonna go back over to the bottom right corner. <laughs> We're just gonna go back to the bottom right corner because that is where we need to go and we just need to wait for Zelda. Assuming she doesn't get stuck on any wall or anything like that. There we go. Alright, Wrecker. Do your thing. Yeah, baby! Take them down! Take them all down! <laughs> I will open this. And we get another key! So we are now at three keys. Can you believe it? I know, right? <laughs> yeah. no, I want to just break this stuff just for kicks. There we go! I knew you could do it! <laughs> uh, there's also a little shortcut back. 
that I should also open up for the future because it'll make things a little bit handier. Yep, these are most. They're just kind of hanging out in place over here, just like vaporized. <laughs> All right, so now that I got this, um, I think I've got everything cleared out in these floors. Uh, just take, take a look, see over here. Yeah, because I got this corner mapped out, got all the, the chests from lighting stuff and whatnot. So yeah, I think I am ready to go to the final series of floors, I think. I think. <laughs> oh, oh, um... I think I, I think I got the wrong... No wait, I don't have the wrong phantom here. Because I still need to set stuff up with a Wrecker Phantom in another room. At least I think... I, it, I, I'm gonna need all the phantoms, let's just put it that way, I, th I think I will, so... Uh, I'm just gonna shortcut my way back through here, now that I'm not being alerted of a, uh, my presence by other sorts of phantoms. Those ghosts, they, they have no alarm mechanisms, so we are okay! <laughs> uh, oh, I should go around this way. Yeah, I'm not gonna switch phantoms, because I'm pretty sure I still need that wrecker. Oh, no, no, whoa, 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 whoa. wrong area, actually. This is not the door that I need to go to. I need to go to this door. All right, so we got a multiple uh, choice of dialogue coming on here. So you know what this means. We're gonna save state over to something that I don't need. I'm gonna go over to uh, number five. There we go. So once we get over here, she'll be like, Oh, oh no, well, there are three locked doors, Link! Which door do you think we should take? Left, middle, or right? Here's our choice. Left! Left one, you see? Well, I've got a feeling we should pick the right one. Alright, so let's uh, load our state from number five there. And... Here we go again! Let's choose the right door this time. Three locked doors, Link! Let's pick the right! I don't know how I feel about the right door. Wouldn't the left door be your better choice? Dang it! <laughs> <laughs> Fine, how do you how do you feel about the middle one? How, how do you like those apples? Load state 5. <laughs> She's so confused. <laughs> Three locked doors, middle! Yes, absolutely, the middle door is the way to go, I'm sure of it. <laughs> but really, um, we don't want to take the middle one just yet, believe it or not. We want to start with the right one, if I recall correctly. So we're gonna go ahead and go through that and get stuff set up for the future. This is quite important, as you'll soon see why. Probably, actually, it'll probably end up being uh, me showing you why it's in the next part, just based on how things are, how long it's gonna take me to do these remaining floors here. But I'll, I'll remind you of those. Yeah, we gotta hit all of those. <laughs> But yeah, I just gotta, you know, I'll, I'll remind you when we get to that point if need be. But for now, let's just go ahead and get our Wrecker Phantom friend up that away first, okay? Okay, so this is one reason why we need the Wrecker, but also because of something else uh, over at this corner here. See, there's a switch panel here, and we're gonna make a dot reminder over here, like we're making a rabbit dot. <laughs> And over here is also something to set up for the future. Ah! But the thing about this is that you cannot actually do this until you have a warp phantom. Because all these rooms are segregated into their own things. And as you know, to go from room to room, we need Zelda with us. Because she will not let us go to another room unless we have her like right next to us when we transition to another room. So we're going to set this up here. That's already in the correct place. So all we needed was that Wrecker Phantom wrecking over there. And we're going to come back here later with a warp. Sound good? I think it does. But the rest of the thing that we're going to set up here is... Well, I, instead of waiting for her, I guess I can just do this. <laughs> there we go. And we're gonna read this over here. Light them in this order. The undefended flame, the flame surrounded by sand. Uh, so we're gonna... It, it's, it's, it's referring to this over here. So we're gonna mark this over here. The flame surrounded by sand, which is this one over here. 
and the flame surrounded by the abyss, and finally the guarded flame. So we go three here, and then four here. So we also need a flame phantom for this particular area here. Uh, come on, get him off my back. Get him, get him off my back. Come, do it, do it, do it, do it. Come. Okay, fine, that'll do. <laughs> I thought this was gonna make me go, you know, shake him off or rub it off. Anyway, so I was like, eh, eh, eh. Well. Alright, so now that we got this set up, I'm gonna end off the part here. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next part when I remind you of what I just did at the end of this part. <laughs> Plus, finish off these floors, I suppose. 